Yeah, these are insurance that had, they had already paid and they paid again and we, we did like a batch listing and this was back in 2011. Yeah, so we're working on this. Um, like I said, there's collections. Four um, starts into some of the 2012s. I have went through all the 11s are done, but the 2012s, um, pages four, five, and six are pretty much 12s. And you can see that I'm turning everything that I can, kind of going through. I took a heed to your advice, Shane, when you're like, you know, you don't want to keep keep going after the accounts and, and lose the 13s and 14s. So I've been really concentrating, like you guys will see, on the 13s and 14s and getting these as I can. So these are kind of hit and miss at this point. Collection. What do you mean by school? School, it, it, it was built at school and they were football standbys. And they have said that they paid it and so it's just research and they need to find their check and we need to make sure that it got posted kind of a deal. But that's, there's one for St. John, one for staff. And now the school's in session, I can ask him about that. <laughs> okay, so, okay, 2000 and, okay, you guys know? <laughs> or seven. Oh, okay, she, she okay. okay, so eight starts 2013, okay? And it's basically outlining anything out there, and things pretty much in collections. There, um, a couple secondary insurances that we're still fighting with, but the um, 340 to 60 days, these are actually, if you'll see, Collections, a lot of it's there. Sunflower, we had a problem with Sunflower. We had our MPI number that was disabled because we went through the headache with Medicare. You have to sign, you have to send them that approval from Medicare or they'll disable your deal. Well, Sunflower's the ones that pay 20% and you really don't, you know. And they're also written. So we're getting their submitted back in just to make sure there's recovery. But then also is pretty much outlined off to the side as to either collection, self-pay, or insurance. <coughs> but can carry, you'll see can carry an awful lot. That's why he's like, mm, you'll see. Total last year. <clears throat> um, I sure don't. Right off the top of my head. I don't think the old ones up. Mm -hmm. And you'll see the collections part of it is right mm -hmm. here. And um, you'll see how much is actually in collections versus out there. So. Is that the kind? Do you of think the collections is working for you? I think so, but but. I think they're collecting some, but I think like we're having to play whenever we go to ARSI and take those accounts that they've been currently researching and take them over to Kansas set off, you're going to get a better thing for your buck right. The thing I like about it is you can say, 90% of the time somebody gets something from the collection agency, they'll say, well, I never got something. I never got something. Well, this way, RSI, ARSI has been pursuing them for a year, and it is documented from us, documented from them, and they can't say that when they get their income tax ticket. <laughs> So, I mean, it's harder for them to combat that. Right. So, I believe it is. Um, and being there's a threat out there that they're going, there's a lot more people paying. Mm -hmm. You know, um, your danger growing to collections, being like a $25 payment or $50 right. payment. So, they're, it's making it better, I think. Okay. Um, so, the next one is the Medicare Advantage Plan. Um, and this is actually the Because I remember you were asking for it, and I'm going, yeah. I didn't really know if that's what you wanted for sure or not. 
Actually, all I wanted to see was just the breakdown of days and then the hours. <laughs> well, I'd much, rather, I'd much rather give you more than not enough. That's way I look at it, you know? You know, I was trying to think back of what we wrote off in the past, and I think these numbers are considerably smaller than what we've wrote off. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that tells me that we're at least making progress. I, you know, for especially the stuff that's a year old. Well, the stuff, um, like before, there was the one that was, we had to write off and went from auto to medical, mm -hmm. from medical. Well, these are, now you're seeing that it went from auto to medical, but we did catch it, and we did submit to the medical part of it now. So, we're catching more right. things than we were yeah. before, a lot, a lot easier, so. Okay. Well, I, with me, I like to be able to explain it if you have a question. So some of these, these notes off to the side are more or less for me. Yeah. <laughs> In yeah. case you have a question to go, oh, well, I can't look at that right now. Well, here you go. I've looked at it and I've got to it so I know what's going on. How much does can care pay? 20%. <laughs> They're like Medicare. Um, on a $690 claim, we'll get about $180 out of it. And then the rest of it is. Yeah. But still, it's $180 versus nothing, so you can't really. Any other questions? Okay, thank you. Thank you. So I can work you guys through these. Um, they have this from October through August. We actually still have accounts out there from, I think it's July, um, but they're on the back part. So this is just from August. But there's 27 accounts out there. We canceled two of those. Those are duplicate listings, again. Um, and the amount of the, the 1310, which left 25 accounts. Two of those pay uh, with the amount of 18125 Two of those have been paid in full, which leaves 23 accounts out there for 16755 the November accounts, there were six of them. Three of those were duplicate listings. So that left three accounts in the amount of $1,120. Um, they canceled one, which leaves two active at $580 for that month. December had 14. Um, none of those were canceled. Uh, 12 of them were active because two paid in full, which leaves the amount of the $6,113. We didn't turn anything in January. But February, there was 34 accounts, and four of those the client canceled because, or we canceled because one was bankruptcy and then the others were turned in error. The amount of 1647 which left 30 of those accounts. Um, four of those accounts paid, which left 26 accounts still current at 21538 March had 11 accounts. Um, none of those have been canceled, still with the 10059 um, all of those, or one of those, I'm sorry, paid, which left 10 accounts at 9,381. We had 380, so I was there with a dollar off. Uh, April was three um, placed. Uh, none of those have been canceled. Uh, none of them have paid either, so they still leave the same amount, the 2168. In May, there was 11 accounts. Uh, none of them were canceled. Three of those, however, have paid in full. Have left uh, eight accounts out there of 6,179. July, we, uh, or June, we didn't turn any. July, we turned two. Um, two oh, nobody canceled, so that Steve's still leaves the two with the 3290 And we had one account in August for $700, which nobody's canceled that either, so that's laying out there. So the total of 109 um, were actually placed. Nine of them were canceled. Uh, left 100 accounts with uh, $71,070. Um, 12 of those accounts have actually paid, so you've got 87 that are still current out there, 66,604. I said that's just from October to now. Now the back, it shows everything that we've transferred from 2013 to 2014. There's actually 148 accounts out there. 12 of them we have actually canceled, and there's our outline on the front, which leaves 135 accounts for 93,367. 13 of those accounts have actually paid, so we have 122 active accounts at 88,628. And the rest of that pretty much just outlines. It's the legend that I use to So they're collecting.
collecting some, but not the best we like to see. What do you guys think? You want to air aside first and you're going to clean it up? Is still something you want to do or do you want to just try to clean this up? You know? Well, we've gotten some from the AR aside. Um, yeah, and I'd say 30% of your total AR is in collections on the site. I think that's probably the least of it. Help, I guess. Sure. You know. Is this percent fee what they take out of it, the, like the average of 27 percent on the site? On the amount collected? The people that have the percentage collected? Yeah. Yeah. They're getting 27 percent mm -hmm. mm -hmm. of the quarter. Yeah, they don't get over the overall. Just one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And some of that, you know, they, they do research out the insurance and make sure that insurance is dead in water, insurance didn't pay, or a lot of them like to claim they have insurance, they don't actually have benefits. You know, and that's you know some of that. But there's the older fields also. So. So they. They figure they're charged by how much work they do then? Because I noticed on this one, some of them are 32 percent, some of them are. I think it depends on the the uh, category they're in, whether they're in the medical research RSI part or if they're straight to collections part. I think they get more whenever they do the medical research behind it versus just going after it. Is why we have the different. Hey, uh, I would like to go into the executive session um, for about 15 minutes um, to discuss non elected personnel for him. Do you want to see Okay. 15 minutes? Who do you want to Um, uh, so sorry. I'll send that. <laughs> All of you, but do I say your name? No, no, no Jerry. Jerry and, yeah. I make a motion to the executive session for 15 minutes for non elected personnel for ambulance maintenance, or include Jerry and Lisa. I'll second it. Okay, we have a motion and a second to go into executive session for 15 minutes for non elected personnel to include the commissioners Lisa, Misty, and Jerry. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion. Yes, non elected personnel. And uh, departmental policy. Alrighty. Well, thank you, guys. Okay. How do you do your hair? I make a motion. What's that? Oh, I make a motion to go the executive session for 10 minutes for non elected personnel for departmental policy. Departmental policy. I second that motion. We have a motion and a second to go into the executive session for 10 minutes with the commissioners, Lisa and Misty. For departmental policy, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Down here to do is just kind of put you guys in on what I've been working on besides the phrasing. And I actually kind of need your opinion or advice on that. I'm going to give you this and I'm going to get you kind of caught up with where I've been. Um, right now, the uh, um, you know, before you go to the, the legislature, because they're out of session and so forth, right now the Kansas, Kansas Association of Counties um, has the Legislative Policy Committee on what the KEC wants to take you know, to the legislatures mm -hmm. when they come to session. They need to be on the agenda. So the first page is what was on the agenda for the 19th, which was a couple of weeks ago. And <clears throat> I was on that about the wind farm. Um, because as of right now, no, all wind farms are a corporation they own. Like you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but the statute leaves them exempt with no term. They're exempt infinity. And what these wind farms do is they do in lieu of or a pilot. Like if a wind farm would come in here, they would come in to you guys and say, we want to do a lieu of taxes. We're paying the county two hundred thousand a year, just as an example. And you would sign it, and you would agree and say that's great. Um, but they do that mostly for the PR, you know, because you, your township roads are pretty well destroyed, your county roads are destroyed. They do this to kind of. What's bad about them? Lieu of taxes is 
uh, your school districts and townships are left out of the whole picture. And 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 in lieu of tax, the pilot it's actually not a law that they have to do that. It's a voluntary type thing that they do more for the PR. So what I'm asking, what I was asking up there uh, to the committee is to put on the agenda to update. Uh, last year, it was Senate Bill 435 to put a term of 10-year exemption in there to where they could be exempt 10 years just like your IRB exemptions and your economic development exemptions and so mm -hmm. forth like that. This 10 year. Mm -hmm. No corporation should be exempt forever. Yeah. Nobody should. And you all know that the, the um, pilot programs and in lieu of taxes is probably about a, maybe a fifth of what they should be paying okay. at. Anyway. So I'm kind of working on that, <clears throat> and when I brought that up, um, we discussed a little bit. I threw the oil, the oil in there <clears throat> because I told them in Western Kansas we have three resources: agricultural, oil, and now wind. Agricultural is use value; it's not market value. Our oil is exempt, pretty much, mm -hmm. and our wind's exempt forever. So our three resources, no wonder we have trouble. No wonder our schools are in trouble. No wonder the counties have a hard time. I mean, they do. So, and it's all because of an exemption. And so, I had someone on the committee ask me who I was speaking for. It was caught me totally off guard. <laughs> because I talked to the commissioners Ellsworth, but they never really Secretary. told me, they really never told me I can speak for them. For them. And so I answered the question. I was here as the as the Ellsworth County appraiser is what is what I was doing. Now, of course, the appraisers don't have the clout that the commissioners do. And so, uh, on the, the September nineteenth was on a Friday. So on the Monday, I switched my days, went to Ellsworth, and the commissioners voted where I can speak for the county now on on that Friday the third on there, and I'm supposed to clarify that I was speaking for the county on the 19th and also. That way it gives now, it's not the appraiser, now it's the commissioner on there. And so what I was asking you guys, I just kind of wanted to get you caught up on this, is now on, if you go to the two pages, uh, that's the agenda for the Legislature Policy Committee for October 3rd, which is this Friday. And this is the agenda, and I have highlighted H, I, and then on the second page is 4. The four, number four, is review the decisions of legislature proposals. This is where they want to talk about the wind again because they didn't, we didn't get done. So we're going to discuss the wind on that again. On the H, and I'm not sure who in Osborne County is going up there, but they're talking about property tax on oil wells. I don't know why Osborne County is. Uh, um, a little bit, but not. What's their ideas on that, Carl? I mean, um, on what I what I proposed or what I broke the on on the 19th because the guy in the committee asked me what I thought or what I was projecting <clears throat> is what I would like to see is is as of right now it's you know five barrels for two thousand foot of deeper and they're exempt. What I would like to see, and I didn't I didn't bring it down here is, you know when we get our prices every year from the, from the state, we get those typically in the end of February, March, okay? What I would like to see is a two-fold exemption, is leave the, leave the low producers because they do need, we don't want them to shut down, we do want them to run. <clears throat> but put in there, if, it, if the price per barrel would go lower than $45 a barrel, the exemption would kick in. Okay, there would be a two-fold then, the low producers and our price per barrel dropped. And our system could handle that. It would have to be a couple modifications, but we would have time to do that when we find this out before you would go to your budget, what our county would do. And my thought on this would be it's going to be a little confusing, though, uh, when, if we get down to that dollar amount. But right now, we're at 84. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, what we would say, so if they would do this, then our oil would go on the tax roll for the, for the next year then. 
if this would pass. And I think where we would have to be careful is if the price was going from 84 to 70 the next year to 60 the next year, that might be a red flag when you do your budget because the next year it could be at 44 and then that would then you would lose the valuation and we'd be back where we are today. But I think we have to do something to where you can't take the low producers out because we don't want them just to shut them down and not produce at all because we, we still need that equipment and, and so forth and the royalty. So that's kind of what was my proposal and they kind of somewhat agreed. I mean that law, that statute started in 1992 mm -hmm. and it was $8 a barrel. This was $8 a barrel. And then in 1998 that statute was revised and we went from three barrels to five barrels. That was the only change. But since even that time, how, how long ago was 1998? This isn't the same world yeah. we're in. And that law needs to be updated and looked at. I'm not saying it should be a, a, abolished. I'm, th I'm saying it should be updated to where it's fair and equitable. Just like this thing with the wind farm. This is not fair and equitable to nobody. No. It's not even fair and equitable to the counties that are getting the money. It's not. It's not fair. If you go out and you ask anybody, you can ask any company, if we would make you exempt from ever, but you come in and just work out a deal with us on what you want to pay, who wouldn't jump on that? Yeah. yeah. Really, who wouldn't? Know? What do other states do with those wind farms? I don't know. I mean, I'd, I'd be curious to I, see what they were doing because there's a reason they moved here. Yeah. Um, well, outside of the wind, uh, there was a because <laughs> there was actually a uh, you know with the, with the green line transmission lines that are coming through that's not on the road right away it's on people's property Properties. and so forth that statute and I actually have a, an order from the board of tax appeals that limits those to a ten year exemption. What what has happened is is everybody has assumed assumed it was a 10-year exemption for the for the yeah, farms right. too yeah. and nobody's updated it. so now we're getting there you know we've been down in you know 2001 with Spiridon I think so they're there right. they are they've already renewed probably another in lieu of taxes so but we're there we need to get this updated is why and then we what I would like to do is do a twofold with the oil then also. And I, and I need to know how you guys feel or if I'm going to just speak, can I, you tell me what you want me to do. I've got mixed feelings about the oil deal. Okay. I mean, a five barrel a day oil, the prices they're getting today needs to be taxed. I mean, mm -hmm. because that's still a pretty profitable situation. Mm -hmm. We actually have some barrels, we actually have some leases that can produce one barrel a day because they are the history of this thing 60 years old and they're consistent. They make money off of, at a very low price. Right. Because it's a consistent well, it's, mm -hmm. the, the history is there. So you're, you're right, I mean, there, but we have, I think we have to kill certain But it's a fine line. Sure. No, what? What exactly? I didn't totally understand. You're going to move it from five to three? No. What What it is 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 in 1992 we started at three. At three. Okay. And then in 1998 it was revised to five. And what do you want to change it to? And my proposal was not to change that part. Okay. But to put it in the second fold of of the price should be important too, like not just what it's producing. Yeah. But it would it could be exempt if. It was five barrels or less, plus this price fell below forty-five, forty dollars, whatever you want to say. It's not going to fall that Well, we don't know. Who would have thought twenty years ago that it was over a hundred dollars? Yeah. What the, what would happen if something would happen to happen worldwide? Which that could happen. Mm -hmm. We could start going back the other way. And but even if, if, if economically, if that happened, we don't want those to shut down. We do want to do for you. 
and the and the equipment is exempt. That's right. But then royalty is not. Right. Yeah. yeah. I threw a lot at you guys, and I don't have much time because I have <laughs> Friday. But um, I don't know. Well, I support you on the price deal. I mean, I, I feel that makes sense. Um, but I, I've got mixed emotions or feelings around the, the, the low producing wells at that, at that cost level. Well, the thing is, you know, what does it cost to, to operate? Every well is different. Unfortunately, every well is different. On the average, I would probably say the $40 would be close because some are going to have higher expenses, more chemical needed mm -hmm. yearly. <clears throat> some of them just need a pump every 10 years. But you would have to find something for everybody across yeah. the state of Kansas. Because uh, that exemption would go for everybody if it was modified. So I guess that's why I was thinking right at 4045, because that could possibly be a break even right now for some for some wells. I don't think they should lose money. I mean I don't want nobody to lose right. money. But on the other hand I think everybody should be fair and equitable too. Right. You know, you have you have uh, many people that you know have a hard time paying taxes. I mean, but yet we have others that are totally. <coughs> when it wasn't too many years ago, the oil was nineteen dollars a barrel. Mm -hmm. And this was some of the stuff I'm going to say. Um, Giving that nineteen ninety five was fifteen, and then in nineteen ninety eight, that's when that was revised to five barrels. And it was only fourteen dollars, and in 1999 it dropped back to eight dollars. But now we're consistently and have been, but nobody's addressed this this issue, this problem. And and one thing that I want I want you guys to know, and I want and I and I've pushed to the to the, the committee is, I'm not doing this to generate revenue. Okay, I'm, the reason I, because the county appraisers already aren't looking real high on the legislature. <laughs> but, and most of that is because they feel like we're not fair and equitable from county to county or in our own counties. But this is two things, two statutes that I feel strongly about that it's already not fair and equitable. Right. So you can change one paragraph on each statute and now we're fair and equitable. That simple. And the computer systems today can handle it. I mean, this wouldn't be a problem. The only time it'd be a problem is if you got down close to lose that that revenue. But I don't want. I won't say anything about that because I'm not there to generate revenue. I'm there to make it right. What are you, what's some of the other appraisers' opinions on the oil deal? Uh, they agree. They agree. The only problem is, is what we've seen in the past. And you know, we tried to address this what five, five years, years ago, ago. Yes. And nobody will, nobody will address it because you're taking an exemption away. Right. That's why I'm going to have a hard time with the wind also. But because it, nobody wants to unexempt something today. Right. But in the same instance. It's not fair. And it's not right. It ain't even close to right. It'll be after the election, though, so Brown back won't take the heat for the sun and sun. And, and this may not happen this year. And it may but but I think at least we, it's in the works. we need to get it on the agenda yes. and we need to bring it up and say it's discussed this year. May not pass, but maybe it'll come up a year from now, maybe it'll pass. And then this would go on the tax roll in two thousand sixteen. Yeah, that's just KEC making recommendations legislatively yeah, but, to the... But what the KEC would do then is they would come get you guys as an association. They would go get the counties. They would go get the school districts. And then everybody would come together. 
one of our down, other downfalls on this here, on actually on both of them is, is we don't have any large, we don't have the top 10 size counties yeah. right. for a voice and they don't care. Yeah. Because they don't have wind in the eastern part and they don't have oil. So it's going to be us out here. And that was another thing I think five years ago. Nobody would join to help us. But well, I'm for it. I support you. So if they ask me Friday, am I speaking for, for the myself or for the committee? What what committee? You can say you're speaking as well for the staff accounting. Okay. Okay. Well, that one caught me off guard. I didn't expect that question. <laughs> I can see why they said it though. I can too. No, I can too. I can too now after doing it. But I didn't think about what happened. I, I, I support you. The only thing, if I, if I had to make that decision, I would want to think about that a little while. On the yeah, but, but I, I like the price still, but I also think that those smaller wells need to be taxed as well. So can I just say it in a different wording to make it a two-fold exemption? One would be the producing, and one would be a price. Yeah. And leave it at that. Yeah. And not say 45, or not say right. whatever. Because I think they're going to want to tweak your figures. Right. Okay. But I, I've always felt that, you know, the smaller wells Time, should be taxed. Okay. Times have certainly changed since 1998. Yeah. Now they got to they be able to understand that. Right? Okay. And the legislature, I think, would be agree right now. Because if revenues are down, they're going to be looking for ways for sales tax to mm -hmm. property tax to raise more revenue. To stay. Mm -hmm. And you guys can say that, but that, I can't say that. Yeah. Because they're going to say, "Well, here we go again." Yeah. You know, the same way with the cement plant in Montgomery County. You know, the appraiser went, the ten-year exemption went off, and they was only on for ten years. Mm -hmm. And then the appraiser went and found and changed personal property to real estate, and there we go. Yeah. <laughs> so. But this concrete foundation is holding those legs and stuff is is just temporary. They yeah. Move temporary. Yeah. 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 They're portable. Um, so we need a motion for so that. So uh, if will, will that do you have if she puts it in the minutes, can I just print that out as any minutes sure. draft? Okay, should we put it as a motion then? Well, I would, yeah, I would say that, <clears throat> that um, just to support girls' <coughs> recommendations for the case. Yep. That'd be all right. I'll make a motion to uh, allow Carl to uh, support him on his. Uh, Two projects he's presented to us <laughs> this morning to be the voice of Stafford County. A second. Okay, and we have a motion and a second to support Carl in his presentation to the KEC for the county commissioners. Oh, thanks. All thanks. in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. And then I'll fill you in next week then. I'll just get on the agenda. And then next week I'm going to fill you in on pictometry. Okay. Uh, the seventh, seven, I meet with the city of St. John. And then I do have a demo so you guys can look at pictometry. And then I'll have the contract you can look at them also. Okay. And the recommendations. So we can do all that stuff next week. Did you ever figure out on the pictometry of uh, if they weren't going to do the three inch to or six inch um, or less? Every, well, I'm not going to speak for St. John. Yet, right. Uh, but the others would like to go the nine inch. Right. And and what I'll do is when we can come in here, we need to pull it up on this laptop, or I can bring my laptop in next Wednesday, and we'll pull up the time. No, we won't be here. Yeah. Next yeah. Wednesday. Okay. So we'll be here. Fifteen. Uh, okay. We'll be here, but we're going to be here a short time. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Do you want me to come in for the short time? Well, we got the hospital auditors here and we got Big Garden City by David. Okay. 
Oh, it's only the 15th. That's it, the 15th. Okay. Because it'll take, take a while. It, it probably will. Yeah. yeah. It probably will. And we have time. We have enough time. And then we do the demonstration with the town. I looked at um, uh, Brookville, the town track. I looked at Saline County now and uh, Riley County. And I looked at Brookville and their nine inch. It looks pretty good. Okay. It really does. And then what I'll probably do is bring in my laptop. Do you have a ride on this here? That way, you, I'll show you Ryan what we currently have and what this would take the place of. Okay. So, okay, the 15th. Okay. What was the discussion about reservoir selling? Were you in on that? No, I wasn't. Uh, um, the one that I'm going to be at, that I'm going to participate in is because I'm on I, the Agricultural Land Valuation. Um, I'm not sure what Slane County has a problem with that one. So, I was going to sit in on that, but uh, hopefully I can I can talk if I if if Osborne doesn't talk about the oil on there on H, I'll bring it up on with the wind again. But I'm going to bring it up. Okay. Some of that stuff, yeah, I was kind of it's amazing what <laughs> how, how many people the uh, on the on the 19th with the EMS Association. There was stuff, man, that was, that was well, that was great to me. <laughs> but some of it, you know, it's just, it's just, just crazy what they go through. Yeah. I mean, um, just for the EMS and the amount of, one thing that stood out was the amount of um, false calls mm -hmm. that they go to. And, yeah. and how many times it's just a false call. And they wasted, you know, two trucks and an uh, ambulance and, Everything else, and there was nothing. So, I guess it's. it's I saw a about which color. I think which color are going to start finding them, and then put put showing up at their addresses. I think if they have more than six a year. So it's, it is an issue. It's, it is an issue. I mean, that we put in a security system, and we've had false alarms, and you know those things are so sensitive. You know, just a moth flying around in a room will set them off. And, uh, you know, we've had several false alarms, you know, and if they can't get all of you, they call the dispatch, right? And it's, there's people it's pretty there. serious. People should, yeah, yeah, well, I mean, it, it has to because they don't yeah. do it. And you feel bad, and I feel there should be, you know, there should be something in place for those or some type of compensation for... Know, people showing up to <laughs> be serving other people are not at an expense, I guess. Number seven false alarm would probably be the real thing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> it probably would have won the day out. Okay. Then they'll see all kinds of lawsuits. Uh, no. That's all I had, and thanks for seeing me. And I went on the gym. Uh, Appreciate it. Yeah, you were. We're pretty easy to work. You were, oh, you yeah. did? We're, we're on the second agenda. Okay. Oh, oh, right. you know I do, do you have anything for me? Yeah, you know I do that six yeah. times in a year. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's, you know, I'm out. Yeah. Then we quit seeing you. I don't think there's okay. anything else. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Carl. Nope. We haven't done the minutes. I'll make a motion. We approve the minutes of September 24th. I'll that. Yeah, we have a motion and a second to approve the minutes from September 24th. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What is they? They lose one? What's that? Needed an extra. I don't know. That's why I circled it. What's that? Type key remote start. Key remote key start the deal for the 600 bucks. <laughs> yeah, for 600 dollars. Is that what this? Yeah. That's all I want to say. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I saw that, yeah. <laughs> we'll recess. The issue that was brought to my attention was in our travels with the Port Authority, if people would be more open if they knew that what they told us wouldn't get out, if, if, 
if everybody would sign a non-disclosure statement. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because they think the people we visit with might be pretty tight, but up to them without that. And I just thought I'm going to let you shoot back. And, and since we're going to be going before, <laughs> we have another meeting. Yeah. You said you have at least something about calling you on the phone. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. There's no one else from the office. What phone number? One of those two. I've got the cell phone. Oh, they're saying no. You can go with that Okay. Okay. Hey, uh, this is Shane Steinitz from Stafford County. Uh, is Joe available or not? We got a quick question for him. Okay. This is Shane Steinitz, Commissioner from Stafford County. We're in our, we're in our meeting and have a question for him if he can give us a call back. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, uh-huh. Yep. Okay, I'll try that. Thank you. He's in Stanford. No, he's on his way to PK. Should we call him on the speaker phone in there? Because you won't be able to hear him on my phone. Uh, yeah, I mean, I really don't care if you just talk to him. Maybe. Hey Joe, this is Shane. We got a. We're in our meeting. We got a quick question for you. Um, I'll let you talk to Kurt. He can explain it better than I can. <laughs> Joe, we had one of the Port Authority members thought that people that we visited with might be more open if if everybody would sign a non-disclosure statement. What do you think about that? Okay. Uh, would you? I wouldn't bring it up unless they did. <laughs> I wouldn't well, volunteer. Right. I wouldn't volunteer. So <laughs> uh, we have. We're going next Wednesday. Uh, is it? Would there be a, a form or something that you could give us that all the members could, could sign before we go out there? Okay. okay. Right. And we're going to meet for a while next Wednesday, so, and then the Port Authority <coughs> members are going to meet us here, so we could uh, hopefully all sign that before we go out there, and that might make the other guy feel a little more comfortable anyway. Okay, I appreciate it. Thanks. <laughs> and I didn't. We didn't hear anything. It sounded good. It sounded all right. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's that Bartlett, right? Yeah. Uh, 
we were talking about the portico. And then. All right. That sounds good. I appreciate and it. AC Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh -huh. He thought that'd be a good idea. Okay. And he will leave the forms with me on Friday. And uh, he said it will just basically be a standard form that everybody will fill in, fill in the blank and take them with you. Typically, though, it's the other people will ask us to sign it if they fill yeah. the thread. He just thought it would be maybe put them at ease without yeah. even having to, to know that they our conversations will be private. I think. He just kind of senses that people don't want to say too much, really. Anything else? Um, well, I was, I was telling Shane about some of the things about the KDOT meeting yesterday. Oh, uh, that was a good meeting. Well, they were good. good. Yeah, yeah, I ended up going since it rained yeah. today. Oh, uh, did you? Yeah. But they're working on why 2016, where they do the engineering study first. And then, if there's money available, then no. You should have heard. You should have been in our breakout session with the guy who's the uh, city manager of Lyons when he saw that route that went from Sterling to Ellenwood and didn't get very close to Lyons. He was really, is I guess they've already signed on <laughs> to where it was going to go for two works. And the Barton County Commissioners, the Rice County Commissioners. The City Council Alliance, they've all signed off on it, and then KDOT changed it. Oh, wow. I mean, they couldn't get him to shut up. I mean, finally, after 20, 30 minutes, wow. they finally got him cooled off. <laughs> he, you know, the one guy got there and said, Art is a little controversial. Yeah. I mean, they could. Yeah. And Phil was in there asking him. Yeah. Was, I mean, this guy was good. Well, I was impressed with the guy from, from Ellenwood. I mean, he had his. He had his facts and figures on how many accidents that occurred on, was that, 96? Mm -hmm. I mean, 56. 56. 56. Yeah, it runs to 156. Yeah. And uh, how many fatalities, how many injuries, uh, and then there, but he was, uh, he said there could be anywhere from 1,000 to 1,500 trucks pulling in and out of that so facility oh, I per day. I bet it'd be a bunch. In the peak season. That's a lot of trucks. Yeah. Phil brought up 15281 in our session as he was in mine, and the secretary, executive secretary of KDOT was in the meeting, and he, I, I don't notice this, but Phil says they have to do a lot of repair on the shoulders for people turning off mm -hmm. down there, and he just thought that ought to be addressed. And I mean, the guy agreed with him. And then the guy up front said, well, is there any other issues there? And I said, yeah, crashes. And he said, what are you talking about? And the executive secretary was sitting right beside me. He says, oh, yeah, we've got a lot of yeah. crashes down there. And he says, as a matter of fact, Senator Holmes, we ought to do something about that. I can't believe it. <laughs> and I looked After at him, we sent the letter and everything? Yeah. And I, yeah, I looked uh, at him and I wow. said, well, we we sent you a letter and we just got a response back like you were looking into it. And I said, it also should make a difference if it was Senator Holmes or somebody else. And yeah. daughter had a bad accident. Like, yeah, you're right there. We'll look into it. But yeah. Anyway, I thought it was kind of Well, funny. I perceive a reduced speed limit. I do. Because they put up those speed yeah. monitors. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. But the... They do, you know, they cut the corner on that shoulder and it's... I didn't, I haven't really, I need to look at that better. Well, they've got white they rock back. Yeah. yeah, they just put that in last week. Yeah. Yeah. But then there's there's water collected there this morning. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, well, there's really two issues there. I mean, they could have a wider turning lane there for the, yeah. all the trucks and the wind trucks that are all in all the And then apparently they're going to start surveying there in front of the co-op. Oh, uh, good. Do we fix that this winter? Or the fall? Or the fall? Or the spring? I don't think you can get anything from that. But I think we're close to 
Yes, sir. Is there anything else? I don't have nothing. That's it. Okay, we're adjourned.